I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about blank. I'm a little embarrassed that I know so little about soccer. Hmm. For sure. Some boys are rich. <laughs> what had you uh, curious about soccer right now? Um, and Bepe got like a billion dollar deal to kick a ball. And I was like, damn, why I can't kick a ball? You going to look into it? Yeah. Yeah. It's Skiller, baby. Make sure y'all tap into my new single, bay. What's up, Nyla? We need to talk about them Bantu knots. For real. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Nyla Simone here with another episode of We Need to Talk. And today I have a very special guest in the building. We got Skilla baby here. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's a perfect fall fit, by the way. Thank you. The brown, the Gucci socks. You and your team come come with it. I like it. Oh, thank you. Why are you sitting like... I'm trying to feel you out for real. <laughs> I don't know what? if you're cool or not. <laughs> you look cool. Yo, that is a crazy thing to say to somebody. What, what is it giving? What am I giving, I guess? Giving cooler than me. Oh. I don't like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you, that doesn't sound like a bad problem to me. <laughs> that, that sounds way personal, but it's okay. We're going we're gonna to get personal in this. It's okay. Um, but, no, nah, it's... It's a harmless interview. I want you to uncross your arms and you know, let me give you a hug or something. I feel like that could help you know, energy. So you've had a crazy year, two projects. Yo, why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to take you serious. <laughs> Yo. All right. Is there something you want to ask me? What you mean? Is there just anything you want to ask me? I want you to be comfortable. Do I want to ask you? Yeah. Oh, so you want me to conduct the interview? I don't, hey, but I'm going to let you get these two minutes off, and then I'm going to take the lead again. Hey, how you doing? Hi. You have nice teeth. Thank you. I have braces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how did that go? It sucked because I got them on Halloween, so I couldn't really eat any candy, but... When was this? Sixth grade. Wow. When did you get them off? <laughs> you know what? I don't like when you ask the questions. Why? Because this is my job. How does that make you feel? Oh, is this therapy or an interview? Kind of like, like a little bit of both. Intervention. Oh, an intervention? Yeah. I thought intervention means like you're going through something or you got a I problem. I feel like you are going through something. Why do you think I'm going through something? Um, I feel like you think you're cooler than me. <laughs> Damn, yeah, man. I'm sorry. Should I take off the glasses? No, I like the glasses. <laughs> They're very cool. Okay, thank you. Are you ready to talk? I'm ready. I've been ready. Are you sure? Yeah. We eat the most reloaded. Mm-hmm. And you drop controversy. Mm-hmm. Two projects in one year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you working really hard. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's start with we eat. We eat the most reloaded. Uh, talk about this project and um, why you wanted to drop the extended. What's up, guys? I'm Nyla Simone, and I hope you're enjoying this interview. If you are, just do me a favor. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Follow the channel. I didn't want to drop the extended. We just going to start that off right now. My label wanted to drop the extended. Okay. I wanted a whole new body of work. You know, numbers and labels and whatever they have planned. So that's how that went. Are you over it? That part. The we eat the most part. The reload. Yeah. Yeah, because I ain't trying to reload the reload. (laughs) Okay, fair. So do you already have, like, projects in the tuck or is it? Pretty much. I got a lot of music tuck. I'm working on a little project. You got a game plan. Mm Mm-hmm. For 2024? 2024 should be a big year for me. Are you going to keep dropping multiple projects, or are you going to let one just simmer? Probably drop multiple projects. Really? Mm-hmm. You like the flood the streets approach. I just feel like I'm a new artist, so they should see me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Simple. Like this fit, I feel like people need to see that with the knot list or the bantu knot. You know, <laughs> you know what? Skillet. Yeah, you know what? You're on to something here. Mm-hmm. Flattery gets you everywhere. Thank you. I love this. You know, I picked this up. My mom said it was really ugly. I was like, man, I can't. Mom, you got to know what style. That's it. I be trying to tell her. 
And I'm going to clip this and send it to her. <laughs> She's going to be so pissed. But it's going to be great. All right, so um, you're in New York City right now promoting what? I'm just promoting myself. Okay. I feel like um, I got a new record, Bay came out. Um, project on the way. Whenever we get a title, got the music for it. I'm just... Uh, what you mean whenever on. you get a title? Isn't that on you? Yeah, I'm thinking about God's favorite. I'm um, thinking about something else. Where are you at with this project? Like, what are you talking about? Um, I think I'm just, like, talking about a lot of stuff. Got girl stuff on there. I got uh, conscious, a lot of conscious stuff on there. Street stuff is really diverse. So. Are you, um, did you make your move to Texas yet? Or are you still in L.A.? Did I move? Yeah, you were talking about, this is, you said this online, that you was tired of being... In Orange County, and you wanted to... I never said that. You never said that? No. So if I could pull up the clip and insert it right here. You a genius, because <laughs> maybe just some AI shit. I've never been in Orange County. What? Am I bugging? You bugging. But it's cool, though. Yo, are you lying Because I fuck with you. No, you're lying. Nah, G. I'm telling you. I ain't never lived in L.A. So in where are you life. at right now? I ain't telling the people that. Well, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is where where is your music at right now? Because I feel like artists have different eras of their life. Mm -hmm. I'm in my bad bitch era. Like, I want to appeal to the bad bitches. Like, I want them to just love me for me. <laughs> Are they you know? not loving you for you right now? I feel like they loving me. Okay. For me. For real. All right. When you say bad bitch era, what is like your definition of a bad bitch? Are you just targeting women in general? Do you or feel like you a bad bitch? Are yeah. you enjoying this interview? Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you, though. <laughs> 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 All right. You know what? I, I'm just I'm gonna skip to the game with you. We have two games. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The older I get, the less I blink. The older I get, the less I care. I can't believe I actually blinked when I was younger. I can't believe I actually chased bitches when I was younger, for sure. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's your sign? I'm a Libra. The best sign ever. I know. Say it. You just had a birthday. Mm -hmm. The best sign ever. Happy belated. Mm -hmm. You know they call Libras lying Libras. No, I never heard you that never in heard my that? life. <laughs> I never heard that. I don't that, believe that. Actually, like. Okay. <laughs> Lion Libra? Yeah. No. That is a thing. What are you? I'm a Leo. Lion. Yeah. Leos be lying. No, I get lion. It. Like, that's her sign. No, like, like Leos like. be lying. Like, I get it. <laughs> I, I actually like Libras. I'm a Libra rising, so it's it's no shade. For real? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in it. I was just talking about that last night. I don't know why you don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. Why? Because I feel like if you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're not, you're not. Two things could be true at once. You could be a library and a good person. <sighs> and I feel like, you know, you could also outgrow some of your traits. Some things might show more when you're younger, and then the older you get, the more you work on yourself, the more evolved. I don't feel like I'd be lying, though. I feel like I'm a trooper. I think I exclude a lot of stuff. Like, I might not say it, but that's not technically lying. It's just like... The technicality. Yeah. If someone gives you the half truth, is it the truth? What's like a half truth example? Not telling you the full thing. Like what's an example of a half truth? I don't know. Why why are you playing these mind games with me? Because you asking me stuff <laughs> and I don't know what you're talking about. Like the half truth. A half truth is like I could tell you I don't know. See? You don't even know what I do know what I'm is. trying to say. I just I can't think of an example. Right What's now. the example of of what a guy would tell a girl that was a half truth? Um, a guy might lie and be like, "Yeah, I went. I don't know. Yeah, I went to the party." He ain't say he bagged mad bitches numbers at the party. He just said he went to the party. That's not half the truth. That's the whole truth. I went to the party. I went to the party. If you want to know what I did at the party, ask me what I did. 
See, I don't like you. Lion Libra. So you know what they, like you know what they do? Huh? Ain't it five W? Who, Who what, what, when, where, 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 why? why? You okay, fine. All five. I feel like even if you do that, guys will just respond to one part of the paragraph. So I said everything. Like, someone told me that you went out last night and you got this number. You'd be like, I did go out last night. Can I but ask, you not. Can I tell you why you you went wrong? You sent it in one paragraph. I ain't reading the whole paragraph. Isn't that easier? No. To just get the conversation out at one mm -hmm. time? Where was you at last night? I was here. Who was you with? That nah, he, if he say he was with dog and we wasn't with dog, or he was with dog and he say he wasn't, he lied. Don't you feel like more questions feels like an interrogation? You was doing that in a um, paragraph. The paragraph has more like, like it all leads to one thing, so you know how I feel. The feelings are included in it. So you should have told him. I know you was at that party bagging mad bitches. Then it just leave him no room to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, okay, I, I'm gonna take that. But me, I would have left you on red. I'm that P. Like I would have left you on red because I ain't gonna lie. I would have just waited till another conversation started. You feel me? Whole new day. That's what why you, you a half mind? truther. Could you not? You not? No, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you're also... That's the problem. You're not saying anything. That's not a half truth. It's not saying anything. But you, you're also, like, you, avoiding... I'm pleading the fifth. My fifth amendment. That's why it's my right. Back to the game. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about blank. I'm a little embarrassed that I know so little about... Soccer. Hmm. For sure. Some boys are rich. <laughs> what 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 had you uh, curious about soccer right now? Um, and Pepe got like a billion dollar deal to kick a ball, and I was like, "Damn, why I can't kick a ball?" You gonna look into it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, sometimes I look back at my life and blink. Sometimes I look back at my life and be like, "Damn, you a cold nigga, for sure." <laughs> Been through a lot. And you're in a good position now. I'm in a great space. From time to time, it's good to do blank. And from time to time, it's good to just fuck off. Like, or from time to time, it's good to just separate yourself from everybody. Yeah. Agreed. When you separate yourself, do you, like, indulge in anything, like? Rooms, nature. No, I don't do no drugs. Oh. But, like, when I separate myself, I just think, like, just, I don't know. Like, you think regardless, but I just be in deep thought. And yeah, um, it might be, like, a couple people I talk to, but I just separate. I'm, like, in one of them spaces right now, like, where I'm just changed my number. I'm separating myself from a lot of people, like, trying to just go to the next level for real. That's good. Mm -hmm. You feel like the cutting off is helping for sure? For sure. It's just a lot more peaceful. You're a lot less accessible. You hear, like, when people with, got access to you, you hear bullshit that you know anyway, but if people say it, it just irritates you. Like, you're just bringing me down. Like, you know I know that. You just want to talk about some bullshit. Okay, I think you weren't living in Orange County. So did you say in the interview that... <laughs> You weren't lying. I think you said in the interview that you've been out there, but you couldn't see yourself moving out there. Definitely. That's what you said. I did say that. Okay. All right. Not as Houston, Texas shit. I'm you so, said. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Where. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> did you move to Texas? No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. My fault. My fault. But once you, when she said that answer, it rang a bell, and then I was like, ah, oh, that's what you said. Okay. Sorry. All right, anyway, from time to time, it's good to do blank. From time to time, from time to time, it's good to just have, do whatever you want for real. Like, as long as within the, the rules of, like, as long as, if it's within the rules, though, like, do whatever you want. Like, sometimes you just need that, like, you feel like I could do whatever. Splurge off. Mm -hmm. I get that. I made a complete fool of myself when I blinked. 
I made a complete fool of myself when I see one time I did this freestyle on Instagram and I had a booger in my nose. Are you serious? I swear to God. <laughs> and you posted it. Didn't know the booger was there though. How you didn't know that? If you got a secret video be, before you I don't be checking my nose. Okay. Like, did the comment section tell you it was there? Booger right there. Mm. Big ass booger. You don't really have, like, nostrils that are, like, obvious, though. They kind of sit low. Mm -hmm. So would you was recording like this? Yeah, I probably was in my car, like, popping my shit, thinking I was sweet. Whole time, sweet-ass freestyle niggas talking about you got a booger in your Bad nose. bitches was not into that. No. No. <laughs> mm -mm. All right. You would never believe me if I told you blank. You would never believe me if you t I oh, told you. Oh, what you have the hat on for? I don't know. All right. It matched. Yeah, true. You would never believe me if I told you the music that I was into. What are you into? Like R and B for one, but then I got this like just like I got this obsession with like Hannah Montana, like Miley Cyrus, Halsey, shit like that. Really? Yeah, the chain smokers. I'd be listening to that type of shit. I'm not mad at that actually. Do you really listen to Hannah Montana? You mean Miley Cyrus? Miley Cyrus. Like flowers? I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls. All you ever did was wreck me. You really know the words. I'm shocked. <laughs> How did you discover Hannah Montana? Through the TV show or did you like, what is this? Probably Spotify? My sister was watching Hannah Montana. I had a crush on her when I was a kid, but then... I got older and she was just, she was just this real unapologetically herself person. And I'm like, damn, she make her music the same way. Like, freaky as hell. Did you like her Say rap whatever. girl era? Or do you like the pop? Miley? I like the pop Miley. I ain't really want to hear her rap. Well, pop was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I actually like that. It's funny because the, the hood niggas love R&B. What's your favorite R&B album? I like the Anita Baker Essentials. Um, Is this what you grew up on? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, a big Mary J. Blige fan. I don't got, like, no specific album. Like, my favorite R&B song growing up was by Shy. Mm -hmm. uh, if I Ever Fall In Love? And if I got... Is that your karaoke go-to? Yeah, like, I got the vocals down packed, so when I want to impress a girl, I just be like, they don't know I really can't sing. Mm. So I just pull that out. <laughs> they don't know? The basic vocals, you feel me? Mm. I come that, she like, yeah, he the one. He that thing. They like it? He that thing. Mm. For sure. All right. That's an acoustic type of song, you know? That thing, she loving me for the rest of my life. If I pull that out, she's going to love me. I think you should pull it out now and recruit the, the bad bitches. Uh-uh. No? No. Okay. Not yet. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. No? Maybe on the next Just call me, I'll sing it to you. Oh, okay. Okay. My personality trait is blank. My personality trait is all over the place. I don't know. It's giving all over the place. You should say... Never mind. I don't know. What's his personality trait? Because he ain't going to tell the truth. Cause he's a Libra. I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of a word that is like a little bit of everything. Oh, it really is all over the place. I'd be like up and down. Like I'd be quiet one moment. Then like the next I'd just be like, you see, I came in here. You thought I ain't like you, and then I can't. We just then you started cracking jokes. Yeah, I'm just uh, that type of person. He said, "I'm trying to read you." I'm like, "Damn!" For real, I gotta see if you was that. <laughs> Thank you, God, for it all. All right. So this is all about holiday stuff because the holidays are coming up. Mm. Thanksgiving is around the corner. What are you most thankful for this year? I'm thankful for uh, where my career going. 
Like, I feel like it's on the rise, like it's going up. Definitely. When, when you when do you put up Christmas decorations? I don't. You don't. No. If you had to live in a holiday movie, which one would you choose? Home Alone. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, I be doing stupid shit like that. Like already. Like one time, Juan was messing with me. I put a bunch of chairs up to his door. With some water, a bucket of water right there. And when his door opened, the water spilled all in his room and shit on him and shit. I'd be doing dumb ass shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Tilted the chairs and shit. The chairs fell on him. Do you record these things? Yeah. Oh, you do? Uh-huh. Okay, good. I want to see that. Um. Okay. What was the worst gift someone has given you? Worst gift someone has given me. <laughs> or the best, if you can make it positive. Mm. Somebody gave me a lot of money. Somebody bought me a chain with my daddy in it. Oh, that's dope. The worst gift I ever got. I don't know. I'll give you the thought that comes for me. Like, if you give me something, I'll just be grateful for it because a lot of people don't give me. I love that. Um. Okay, favorite holiday memory from your childhood? Favorite holiday memory? <sighs> I don't got no favorite holiday memory. Okay. At what age did you stop believing in Santa? Young. They ruined that for me. They ruined it? Yeah, I used to live with my cousins. They was on all the bullshit, just ruining ruin that type of shit. So you never even got to? Yeah. No. Okay. Or they'd be like, Santa ain't do shit. I bought you that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's black parents for you, actually. Yeah, for sure. But, okay. Uh, any New Year's resolutions? I just wanted to have a good 2024. I don't got no, like, resolutions, you know. 2024, I know you said you're dropping a new project. Who are some people you're in the studio with working on it? Mm, like artists? Artists and producers. Bands, producer. I've been working with Southside. I've been working with. These the producers I've been working with. Uh, some underground art, like producers like Zay, M.I.A., J.C. Uh, I got some stuff with D.A. Got that dope. Artists I've been working with, Rafa, Nah, No Cap, Lil Tyler, True Rare, uh, Jeremiah. Uh, I got some shit with Meek Mill, G Herbo. I got a lot of, I've been working with a lot of artists for real. You've been working with G. I feel like you guys should do a tape. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, we got a lot of music. We working on it. Like, we always had that in our pocket. Got a lot of music. Okay. Um. So, new album dropping top of the year. What's next? Videos, tour? Working on a tour. Trying to book myself for a tour. Put my own tour together. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard, but it's easy. It's just... A lot of stuff be hard because you ain't never did it before. But once you build the connections and stuff, it'd be easy. That's for sure. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to everything that's coming. Once your album drop, please come and let's let's do a deep dive into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to Graham. Let everybody know where they can follow you. I'm Skilla Baby. You can follow me at Underscore Skilla Baby. All right. Till next time, guys. Peace.